As a boy born and raised in sunny Southern California, I love the ocean. I've always loved the ocean. I loved the National Geographic tapes I had about the ocean. I loved reading about the ocean. I loved going to the aquarium. And so I've always kind of been drawn to games that have some sort of seafaring setting. And so today, that's why I want to talk about the inaugural release from Citizen Sleeper developer Jump Over the Age, In Other Waters. In Other Waters is a game brave enough to ask, can you fall in love with UI? The game is about a xenobiologist traveling to an alien world following the path of a previous explorer to try to find out what exactly happened there. So the whole game takes place underwater, presented quite minimalistically, almost exclusively through the UI you'll use to operate your undersea vessel. But while In Other Waters does, yes, have, like Citizen Sleeper, a very robust narrative that is a thrill to follow from beginning to end, the real charm of In Other Waters comes from its deep sea exploration. It's very deliberately modeled after real-world deep-sea exploration, and much of the game involves collecting samples from the seabed and documenting the native flora and fauna that are in this alien ocean. To this end, one of the favorite parts of the game for me was cataloging all these creatures and then getting to unlock their reference sketches, which I also have. Hold on. Which I also have in this art book, which I can't remember if I bought this as an independent piece or if this came with my level of Kickstarter backing, but um, this thing rocks. I would also be remiss not to mention the incredible soundtrack from Amos Roddy. Just pitch perfect at every conceivable moment. Really evocative, really beautiful. The game looks and sounds and feels so good. And yeah, I'm probably only going to show footage from like the first couple hours of the game because there is really a lot more to it as you explore, as you delve further into the sea that I don't want to spoil. So yeah, if you're a fan of thoughtful sci-fi storytelling, beautiful UI, amazing sound, and really well-detailed speculative evolution, then you should definitely play In Other Waters. It's just a really good time. And that will about conclude today's episode of Play This here on Subpixel. My name is Jake Terrio, and I hope if there are other great undersea games that you enjoy, that you'll leave them down in the comments, because I am always looking for more. I still have to play that new Endless Ocean game. I have it on my Switch. I just haven't played it yet. But let me know what other ocean games you like. Let me know if you've played In Other Waters. What did you think of it? I loved it obviously. Yeah, and with that, I hope that you'll like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.